friends, I'm Akash, and today, on June 3rd, 2020, the Netflix original documentary film Spelling the Dream was released in over 190 countries. The film is about how the Indian American children have established a successful spelling dynasty in the Scripps National Spelling Bee. The film showcases four spelling bee kids who are preparing for the nationals, and I am the youngest of these four kids. Today, I highly recommend you to go watch this feel-good documentary film on Netflix, and please give it a good rating on IMDb. The film has garnered very positive reviews, both here in the US and also in India, and in this video, I am going to show you some of those reviews. First up, is the New York Times review. As you can see, it says, Spelling the Dream Review, Words of Inspiration. This Netflix documentary explores the unbroken Indian American dominance of the US National Spelling Bee. By the way, um, if you're noticing here, this is a photo of seven-year-old me spelling the longest word in the dictionary, 45 letters long. It's Numano Microscopic Silico Volcano Caniosis. And it's a very iconic photo. You'll see it later, too. Now, if you're browsing for feel-good stories of American diversity nowadays, there's nothing more inoffensively comforting than Netflix's new documentary, Spelling the Dream. As you can see right here, in the thumbnail is my co-star, Ashita, in the film. Um, and overall, in the end, it does say, Spelling the Dream is a film about winning delivered with glossy visuals and a gratingly optimistic score that draws to a close with its champion showered in confetti, an obvious symbol for this overarching and under-questioned celebration of American multiculturalism. So great article by the New York Times by Bilal Qureshi on June 3rd, so thank you very much. Next, we have this article from the Washington Post. It is literally just a list of shows and films to watch, and the highlight is Spelling the Dream. Look, this is a photo of me competing in the 2017 Regional Spelling Bee. There will be lots of photos of this event happening. Next, we've got this article from the Wall Street Journal. It says, Spelling the Dream Review, a long spell of dominance. I love the pun there, spell. Sam Rega's documentary looks at the Indian American phenoms who've been dominating the Scripps National Spelling Bee. It's a great article, definitely recommend you to check it out, by John Anderson on June 2nd. Next article is from India. In fact, it is from one of the two main prominent newspapers, national newspapers in India, the Indian Express. Um, Sampada Sharma has written an amazing article on it from New Delhi, updated June 3rd, and it says, Spelling the Dream Review, Decoding the Indian Magic. Spelling the Dream will undoubtedly serve as a morale booster for the Indian American community, but for others, it will be an inspirational story of hardworking students who know that winning comes only after rigorous training. Oh, hey, look, it's me again from... 2017 Regional B. This right here is a really nice statement right here. The statistics here say it all. Indian Americans have won the national competition for 12 years in a row. In fact, 27 of the last 35 winners were Indian Americans. It's a great one. It will be an inspirational story of hardworking students who know that winning comes only after rigorous training. So, uh, thank you, Ms. Sampada Sharma. Um, thank you to the Indian Express for this beautiful article. And right after this one is the other national, is the other main national newspaper in India, The Hindu. This article is written by S. Purvaja on June 2nd and it simply says, Spelling the Dream Review. How do you spell S U C C E S S? Success! And uh, this article right here, by the way, this is a, a photo of me competing in the 2016 
Scripps National Spelling Bee. Um, says right here, the new documentary on Netflix dives into the phenomenon of what makes the Indian American community tick when it comes to the National Spelling Bee. Indian Americans have not just won the last 12 spelling bees in a row, but have also provided for 26 of the last 31 winners. And as you can see, we've got details of the film right here. And it also says, as seven-year-old Akash Vakoti, and I think they've accidentally typoed my name, it's V-U, but they've accidentally written V-O. Seven-year-old Akash Vakoti effortlessly spells a 45-letter word on camera. So, really cool article by Miss S. Purvaja from The Hindu. Next, we have Reality Titbit, which has made Meet Spelling the Dreams of Kasha Cody. Netflix star also appeared on Dancing with the Stars, written by Eve Edwards on June 3rd. It's a great article. Oh, hey, look! It's me spelling the longest word in the dictionary. Again, it's that same iconic photo you saw earlier. And, um... It even says it has a section for Dancing with the Stars. It says viewers fell in love with Akash when he performed on Dancing with the Stars Jr. In fact, there's even a Twitter tweet by Miss Chloe Baker that says, Akash is pretty much the most adorable little boy. So thank you very much. Of course, there's this bit about Akash Cody on Spelling the Dream. It says Akash's whole family appears on Spelling the Dream to explore his successes in the spelling world and then so on so on um it mentions my parents and also my sister and it also says here you can follow akash on twitter under the handle at akash Vakoti for his latest updates by the way i've also got an instagram facebook and of course my youtube channel next we have this article from the chicago sun times this review states spelling the dream offers a fresh take on word contests why do Indian American kids so often win? The Netflix documentary traces the trend to a shift in U.S. law in 1965 by Richard Roper. Take a look. It's another one of those pictures from me at the Regional B. And um, it is a great and really funny article. And hey, look, um, he's given me a three out of four. So thank you so much, Richard, for the rating for the beautiful review. And by the way, this this bit I really love here. It says, um, we meet the impossibly precocious and adorable Akasha Cody, who is now 11, but is just 7, when he appears on camera here and spells, wait for it, Numano Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Kanaiosis. Once again, that's Numano Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Kanaiosis. It is a great article. It's a great review. Thank you so much, Richard, for the rating and for the beautiful review. I loved it a lot. Next, we have this article by The Cinemaholic that says, Where is Akasha Cody today? Written by Richie Maria Jacob on June 3rd. And hey, look, it's a photo of me um, on Spelling the Dream. And right here, we've got who is Akasha Cody. And you can see there, and that's me competing in the 2016 B. And this paragraph right here is just all about me. You've got all sorts of details. You know, when I was born, where, what, what happened and where, all my TV shows. And guess what? You even got a photo of me preparing for the regional B with my mom. And guess what? You can even see my sister right there. Um, and then it's really, really awesome. And guess what? It also mentions my YouTube channel and my Patreon page. So, um, and finally, clicking off, it says, It certainly seems like we have only seen the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Akash's potential. Check out one of his educational videos below. And look, it's my word of the day video! Which quickly brings me to the point, I just want to quickly say thank you to everyone who watches my videos. You all are the best fans in the world, so thank you. Next! We have this article from The Decider stating, Where's the Spelling the Dream cast now? By Anna Menta at June 3rd at 11.30 a.m. Now, as you can see, it is a really cool article. Oh, wait, look, it's me again from the Regional Bee. And if you can see here, this is my section here. It's a really cool 
And guess what? It says Akash was honored. This is an article to India West. Akash was honored with the 2020 Global Trot Prodigy Award. You can follow Akash's Instagram account. I've got an Instagram account managed by his parents or his YouTube page, which is right here. Next, we have this um, this review by Distractify. It says, see the cast of Spelling the Dream Today by Pippa Raga. By the way, this is also one of my co-stars of the film, uh, Tejas Mutasami. This is Tejas Sanna with his little brother looking at the newspaper. And look, it's that same iconic photo of me spelling the model to Mike Spock's with Trinicaniosis. It's a really nice, we've got the documentaries, um, episode of Real Sports with Brian Gumbel, and then yeah, Human Body, Secrets of Your Life Revealed. And then this, this sentence is really nice. The second youngest participant ever to reach the Scripps National Spelling Bee at age six. Akash has been competing in spelling bees since he was only two years old. And by the way, here are my other co-stars of the film. This is, there's Ashita. This is her and it's a little child with her mother and her father. And we have Shara Desai after winning the as we're winning. And then there's Tejasana spelling at the National Spelling Bee. And as you can see right here, going back up to the top, it's a really nice article on all four of the co-stars of the film. Next, we have an article from the print. Next, we have a review from the print stating, Spelling the Dream, Netflix docufilm on Deshi's success at Spelling Bee is gripping but limited. The article was written by Samira Sud on June 3rd. And as you can see over here, it states here, the Scripps National Spelling Bee, aka the Indian Super Bowl, dun -dun, which I think is a very nice title to give to the Scripps National Spelling Bee. And in the end, it does state, even though I found Akash a bit too precocious and cutesy, I cheered when he got a word right and wept when he lost a round and wished all the remaining competitors luck. And this article was written by Samira Sud on June 3rd, so thank you for the review. Next, we have this article from The Quint, and this review is really cool. Right off the start, we have this widescreen view of that same iconic um, photo, and down here it says, in Netflix's Spelling the Dream, Indian American Kids Dazzle. It is a wonderful, and it is a wonderful review. As you can see, um, Pankuri Shukla has given the film a rating of 3 out of 5, so thank you very much, M Mr. Shukla, for the amazing and beautiful review and for the rating. Next, we have this article from IndieWire. The review states, Spelling the Dream Review, Netflix's inspiring spelling bee documentary is an unexpected rallying cry. Sam Rega's insightful film shines a light on the Indian American superstars and the spelling bee circuit and provides a window into what the American dream should hope to achieve. And it is a really nice, um, is, it's a really nice review. In the end, they gave a grade of B+, which I guess is pretty decent, written by K. Airbland on June 3rd. So it's a pretty nice article. Next, we have this review from Variety. It says, Spelling the Dream, film review. On their way to the Scripps National Spelling Bee, four kids charm while demystifying the reign of South Asian contenders. By the way, this is Sharov again. And then, of course, we've got Bustle, which has made um, an, a review titled Where's the Spelling Dream, the Dream Cast in 2020? They're as committed as ever. And that is, in the end, all of the reviews of Spelling the Dream. Thank you to everyone who reviewed it and who watched the film on Netflix. Thank you all so much for watching it. And, um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching it. Love you. Makash.